everybody and welcome back to Ages How You Wear It. Today I thought I would bring you some of the trends that I shopped in my closet. So you know it's everybody's big on trends these days, what to wear, what not to wear. You wear what you want to wear. That's what I'm here to tell you. But I did find some trends in my closet. I got them hanging over there on the rack and of course I'm showing it to you up here. So doing it a little different I'm just gonna talk about what I'm wearing the entire outfit and so that way you can concentrate on the outfit and not me talking so the first outfit so we might as well jump right in it oh but anyway welcome to those who are new and to those who have been following me I do want to uh, take the time to do a um, shout out to one of my butterflies that have been with me for a while so Brian thank you very much thank you for always taking the time to look at one of my videos so yay okay so let's go ahead and get started I don't like to keep you I know you're busy because I'm busy so let's get started with the first outfit which is what I am wearing so the first trend is monochromatic and most people think that that is when you do one full color but actually it's when you do black and white but hey I'm just I just wear the clothes I'm not here to crack teeth which one is right so let's go ahead and look at this look so for this one I am wearing of course I have a thrifted you know I always got something thrifted I'm shopping my closet I have on this thrifted dress and it is a dress but what I did was I took this thrifted top and it's just a short as you can see crop top and I put it over the dress to give it that black and white look so this is what's considered monochromatic the black and white look but I do my own twist and I put purple with it. Sorry. So, I'm shopping my closet. I have a trend, but I just make it my own. That is what makes fashion. You make it your own, and what you will see is, on a lot of this, I just make it my own. I put my own little, why does braid look different? Anyway, I put my own little twist to it. So I put the purple on, and you see I highlight it with my purple earrings. I put on my purple necklace that I got from Dillard's and I even put on a purple lip and the shoes that I am wearing is my Steve Madden um, what do they call it when it does the two tones so depending on how the Sun hit it it can be green it could be purple it can have a mixture of both I really like these pumps and you know I'm gonna say at the end Tell me which outfit you like the most. So moving on to our next outfit. So the next look is stripes, bold stripes and sweater vests. So what did I do? Crazy old me mixed it together. So I took this shirt that I got from New York and Company and I paired it with this vest that I got, that I thrifted. And I just, as you can see, I just love a crop look with something flowy and long, um, like I did with the dress. But of course, this is a shirt. Um, but I like it, and I took the belt that came with it, and I tied it as a tie instead of using it as a belt. So I took that, and I wore it with my white um, New York & Company crop. Uh, I call them dress pants because they're not cotton they're made of that slack material and I paired it with a white heel um, and I like using the strappy heel because it looked like it flows up into the pants um, and it is a low heel so if you don't feel like putting something high on or you could put it on with a high heel I'm just here for the inspiration. You can do whatever you want to do to make it your own, to make it your own, and to twist it 
how you want to twist it. So that is the second look. Okay. And my third look is this. I'm going to do the, I think it says the pastel colors when you have all the, um, the pinks and the bright pinks and the bright blues, you know, when you have that spring color. But I'm gonna do a little twist. All of the colors are really, truly in the jacket. This jacket is not for everybody. It's loud, it's out there. It says, here I am, I have arrived, look at me. So what I did was I paired it with these very high-waisted Zara um, wide leg pants and a Shein um bodysuit and a low my low gianna benny white heels i wanted something low because i wanted to make sure that my pants hit the ground as much as possible they were so long and i got them tailored but i think i got them tailored just a just a few just a little bit too much and it doesn't flow on the floor low as I want it to. I want it just to touch it. Cute girl, so cute. Okay, <laughs> so moving on to my next look. So the next look, cause I wrote it down. Oh, the scarf. Okay, so the scarf look is everyone saying how you can wear scarves now differently and of course i have a scarf everything is i shot my closet i did not purchase any of this to make this video this scarf has been in my closet in a part of my wardrobe for years um a friend a very good friend of mine gave me this scarf as a birthday gift yeah, I think it was a birthday. It was, no, it was a Christmas gift. We were doing Pollyanna at my job and she gave me this scarf. And I have been looking for a, a scarf that has more of a pastel, like summer colors. This is, of course, you can wear it all year round. It's a scarf, so you can put it different ways. It is truly a wrap up that you wear on the beach, but as you see now, I'm wearing it as a skirt, and I paired it with my New York and Company bodysuit, and um, with my, let me see, I gotta remember the name of these shoes. Uh, oh, and I paired it with my Dior suede, platforms so adorable i really like this look would i wear it anywhere i don't know maybe if i was on vacation and i really like it so you can put it with a bathing suit if you choose to and wear the skirt but this is one of the ways i will wear the scarf trend Next is sweep the floor. So sweep the floor is another vacation look or if you're going somewhere and it's it's not quite summer, so it's spring, so you can still wear the jacket with you if you're the type that don't like to show their arms, so you would put a jacket on. So this is the sweep the floor look. This dress comes from New York and Company and the jacket I cropped and I got the jacket from a good friend who gave it to me for my birthday. And I cut the arms and I like it cropped like that. So I like changing things to fit what I want it to fit. So the more I wash it, the more distressed it comes, the more distressed it becomes and the more I even like it. So, and I am wearing just some because this dress sweep the floor what i did was i paired it with the red pair of pumps to dress it up a little bit but you know you can dress it down if you choose to um i'm gonna put the what it's called here but i call it hole when they put the holes in your clothes 
So I got this H&M dress with this beautiful peach color. Very pretty. And it's got the holes on the entire outfit. I mean the entire dress. So it's very see-through, but it does have a slip that comes under it. And I just simply paired that with, I believe I paired it, no, yeah, I paired it with a thrifted pair of denim pumps. And it has a bow. I put that bow on it in that embellishment on the top of the heel. I did that on the top of the uh, shoe to make it have a little more something to it. So I changed that shoe and I am good for that. If you watch my videos enough, you will see I would change a, a, a shoe, a shirt, a jacket to make it fit my liking, especially if it's thrifted or it did not cost a lot of money. So I changed that and I put that, I paired that denim look with the dress. Put that on with some a denim bag and you'll be good to go matter of fact I think I went on and put a bag on with it to show you the how I brought the denim look in with my coach bag so those were my trends and how I either put a different look to it or I showed it just how the trend looks but don't forget you don't have to be trendy you just have to be you. What would you want? What makes you feel good? What makes you confident? And it will look beautiful. So thank you, my butterflies. And I'll see you on the next look. Bye, guys.